Hi lovelies and welcome back to Debbie Does. The month of June always makes me smile because it's Pride Month. I'm so lucky to have such a supportive family who has always let me be who I want to be because you know what? Just be. Pride Month is all about love and acceptance. So you know what lovelies? I just want you to know that no matter who you are, I love you lovelies. You always have my love and support. For today's episode, I'm bringing back the drag transformations. I'm going to try and become none other than RuPaul season nine winner, Sasha Velour. But here's the secret, it's Pride Edition. What? I'm gonna make it a little bit more colorful. I'm gonna follow her tutorial, but I'm gonna make it, change the colors around a bit just to have a little bit more, you know, brightness, all the colors of the rainbow. If you love Debbie Does, make sure you like and subscribe, hit that bell button so you never miss an episode with Debbie. I can't forget, the cocktail of the day. None other than the iconic pink cocktail from Sex and the City, the Cosmopolitan. Oh, I love it. And I guarantee you Carrie Bradshaw will be proud of you to make this cocktail. Ingredients are, I chose the Crystal Head Vodka Pride Edition. I mean, look at this skull. The, I can't, I, I'm dead. I am so proud of Crystal Vodka for bringing the pride love forward, choosing joy and choosing love because love is love. So I have two ounces of Crystal Head Vodka, of course, vodka of your choice, one and a half ounce of triple sec, half an ounce of cranberry juice, a splash of lime juice and one orange peel for garnish. You twist it over top and then you plunk it in the Cosmopolitan. Oh my gosh, I am gonna live my Sex in the City vibe right now. Here we go, cheers. Strap on those Louboutins, honey, get that Gucci out, bring that fashion forward because this is gonna make you feel like you're on the runway in New York City Fashion Week. Too many of these, move over, Samantha. I'm gonna be laying on that table with all the sushi, with all the boys just crawling all over. The one thing that she does really different, differently before she sets her face, she she outlines basically her entire, like the eyebrows, the eyeliner, the, the nose contour. So I'm gonna try and do that first, just like she does. Now I'm gonna go right into the eyeliner. She uses black. What I'm gonna do for today, because it's pride, I'm going to use the Annabelle Free Spirit Eyeliner in the shade blue. Oh my God, here we go, okay. Lovelies, I've already screwed up. So I want to start everything on the left eye. Start again. Oh my gosh, I'm already obsessed. I'm gonna fill in the brows. The brows, oh my gosh. <laughs> this Gossipolitan's get to me already. I'm gonna fill in the rest of the eyeliner with the blue and then I'm gonna go in with another shade of blue on top of it just to make it pop even more. Oh, she's sticky. This, she's electric. I'm gonna go in with this shade of blue on top of what I have to set. She's sticky. Oh yeah. I'm gonna redefine the edges. Did you hear that? Oh. 
don't you dare lift. So I must say the Annabelle, this is more like kind of like almost watercolor consistency. So like it starts to lift it up off. So you really gotta like almost press and let like the ink soak in or else it's gonna lift the makeup up. It's very strange. Not the best, not the best. Poof, there we go. I redid my nose contour because it was driving me nuts. It was like, it's still not my favorite, but it's much better. Remember when I told you I was gonna do the line of the eyebrows once I powdered? So that's what I did off camera. So you can see the shape that I've gotten, which is kind of like, I'm literally watching her tutorial as I go through this because I just want to make this perfect. Moving to the brow, she goes with a very fine eyebrow angled brush. I don't have something super fine. So I'm just going to go in with Il Maquillage uh, Black Liner. It has a really, really pointed, very pointed tip. So, and she just draws hairs along the line. I've never done this. So this is where the artistry comes in with Sasha. <laughs> okay. And of course I'm doing the left eye first to challenge myself. It's pride month. Here we go. Okay. So she does little strokes. They go big and then they get smaller as they go. So on an angle. Oh my God. Carrie Bradshaw, please, please be with me right now. Oh my God. And then it kind of like angles once you get to the tip. Did I just, did, did I just do that? Lovelies, this is why I do drag transformations. It may not look great to you, but to me, I've, okay, continue. Let's continue. I mean, I am not mad about that. Oh, Sasha. I'm happy with that. Now she goes in with a secondary color. She likes to put a little brown. So I'm gonna go in, what is it called? Spiked Mac and Shade Brow Tint. Spiked Mac. Spiked shape shade brown tint. Spiked shape and brow tint. It's by MAC. Ugh. Uh, uh. I'm gonna go in and put a little more definition with some browns. C lovelies. I'll take it. Boof. All right, onto the cut crease. Her cut crease is super small. And she was saying with this type of liner, a lot of people, what they do is they take it and they go up and then they do a little swoop with it as well. But she doesn't like to do that. And I'm gonna do the right side in purple and the left side in pink. Yes. Let's do it. So I have to put some white over top of the blue. I always love to use Ben Nye. She does her white only about halfway, like even shorter than her cut crease. Purple on the right, pink on the left, right over top of the white. Double checking, yes. Again, she doesn't go all the way, just fades. It, it, her cut crease just fades out. Because why not? She's a genius. Off camera, could do the right eye in purple. Poof. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this face. Like I said, I'm gonna add some color. So next thing we need to do is the very iconic center unibrow 
situation. I'm gonna go back in with my Il Maquillage. Let's do the iconic center unibrow. Okay, it truly is like an amazing, odd, artistic signature. She was right. This is so much fun. She does blush first, but she does go underneath the eye a little bit. So I think what I'm gonna do is to match each eye. I'm gonna go under with the purple and under with the pink just to give it a little bit, you know, we gotta keep it symmetrical, lovelies. I'm kind of feeling like the Sailor Moon fantasy right now. I think I'm gonna go right into the center and into the corner. That's the AC kicking in. It is so hot here right now. I'm gonna go on to blush. Am I filming? I always have to check if I'm filming. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm doing. I always use MAC blush in the shade Gentle. Some blush. Now she does lashes. I'm gonna go off camera, do the lashes. She does 301s in natural hair. <laughs> I'm on a budget. I can't afford natural hair lashes in 301s. Lashes are on. I don't have bottom lashes. Sasha loves to do like a really intense bottom lash. So what I did is I did more color and then a little bit of mascara underneath. Blink, blink, blink. Her lips are overdrawn with like a little more arch than what I would normally do. I just looked for five minutes for my MAC vanilla powder. Where was it? Right in front of me. One thousand percent does she do highlight. She also does it at the tip of the nose. So here we go. MAC soft and gentle. Time to set the face. Oh. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Cheers to the reveal of Sasha Velour Pride Edition. Transformation now. Hi lovelies. This is the final look. I am feeling so couture. It was like bangles, bangles, naked. I am naked underneath. Carrie Bradshaw, where are my Louboutins? I love you, lovelies. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Keep fashion forward. Happy pride. Be whoever you want. Look at me. This is everything. Choose joy. Mm. Bye.